Okay, so here's the first example for today's notes. Take a moment and read it, and then we'll look at what a diagram of this looks like. So if we diagram this, we get this picture. We have our hallway. We have our red pipe being taken around the corner. And we want to show that AB, there to there, is given by this formula. Then we want to show that the derivative is zero when theta is the arc tangent of the cube root of two thirds. And then we want to find L for this value. And we want to see what that really means. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to look at two separate right triangles. One there. And one there. Both of them have an angle theta. And I'm going to call this L1, this L2. We can relate this L1 length to theta and the side we know cosine of theta is equal to 3 over L1. Rearranging this, we get L1 is equal to 3 times the secant of theta. We can make a similar argument for L2. Sine of theta, the opposite over hypotenuse, will be 2 over L2. Solving for L2, we get 2 cosecant of theta. And since I've arranged this diagram to give me L equals L1 plus L2, we've accomplished our first task. just using a sim bit of simple Sokotoa right triangle trigonometry. Now it says to show that the derivative is equal to zero when theta is that value. So we need to differentiate this. So dl d theta. 3 secant theta, well the derivative of secant is secant times tangent. The derivative of cosecant is opposite of cosecant, cotangent. And we want to set this equal to zero and we want to solve. To accomplish this, we're going to need to do some algebraic manipulation. And I really recommend when manipulating things with secants and tangents and cosecants and whatnot, change everything to sines and cosines. The first term gives us that secant is 1 over cosine, tangent is sine over cosine. Second term, we're going to have minus 2. Pause the video and see if you can get what goes on the top and bottom. We get cosine over sine squared. To find where this equals zero, we're going to need to combine these fractions together. We're going to need a common denominator, which is sine squared theta cosine squared theta. 
And in getting that common denominator, I need to multiply the numerator of the black one by sine squared. And the numerator of the purple one by cosine squared. If this is going to equal zero, then three sine cubed must equal two cosine cubed. Rearranging this, dividing both sides by cosine cubed, dividing both sides by cube three, we get tangent cubed theta is two thirds. So the tangent of theta is the cube root of two thirds. And we've just arrived at this, which is approximately 41.4 degrees. So what we now need to look at for the last part of this problem is what's this mean? What does this do for us? Why do we care? Find L and say what this is really meaning. So if I plug this number back in up here, we end up with L being approximately 7.023 meters, I guess feet. So just over seven feet when theta is 41.4 degrees. And if I look at a sine diagram, we get decreasing on that side, increasing on this side. For L, and 41.4 is the angle that gives us the shortest length that will work. This will give us essentially the perfect fit down this hallway. And what this is telling us is that if we have an infinitely thin steel rod going down the hall, the longest, that, longest one that will fit perfectly horizontally is 7.023 feet. The last piece in this is related rates. Here we have a ladder resting against the house, classic problem. So we've got our grassy grass down here. We've got a blue house with a pink roof. And we have, oh, we'll go with a black ladder against the house. The black ladder is five meters long. And as we're climbing this, whoops, the bottom starts slipping away at a rate of 10 meters per second. At what speed is the other end moving at this instance? Now we're going to say that our house makes a nice right angle to the ground. So we can relate the sides of this ladder, x and y, or the sides of this triangle, with the Pythagorean theorem. If we're talking speed, we're differentiating with respect to time. So we're going to need to use implicit differentiation twice here. 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt. We have 
an equation now that involves two differentials with respect to t. This is a differential equation that we need to solve. At what speed is the other end moving at this instance? By other end, we're talking about that. And we know that x is 3 at some instance in time that we're looking at. We know that dx dt at that moment in time is 10. And using the Pythagorean theorem, we know that y at that instance in time is 4. So we have an equation, 60 equals negative 8 dy dt. I've taken these terms and bumped them over to the other side. So the end against the house is traveling at a rate of negative 7.5 meters per second. And it should make sense that this is negative because the ladder is moving down along the house. We were to throw a coordinate plane in here, x and y axes, y goes negative going down, x goes positive to the right. So we've just solved our first differential equation of the year.